Let's let's talk about uh, Iowa states like uh, you said. There are four Democratic senators, right? Tom Harkin, Max Baucus, Jay Rockefeller, and Tim Johnson, who opted to retire instead of run for re-election. How key is the timing uh, of the events here when it comes to the challenge uh, for Democrats to keep the Senate? It's very key. I mean, for all that we're talking correctly about uh, a discontent with the president mm -hmm. and the six-year curse, if those four in, uh, states had popular, relatively popular senators, if they had decided to run for re-election, the Republican march to majority would have been almost insurmountable. But three of those states, South Dakota, Montana, West Virginia, were, are their Republican, there's no fight going on. That got them to 48 seats without, without firing a shot. And Iowa may go Republican, that was Tom Harkin's seat. And even Michigan, where Carl Levin ret retired, uh, I think the Democrats are going to take that, but it was a fight. And so for all of the analysis that, that we correctly do, this is part of what I like, to, what I like to do books like I'm doing. Random chance, or at least sometimes chance, in this case, the combined retirements of actually five Democrats, have put the party on, under an even bigger burden than they would otherwise have been. Tomorrow night, a lot of people are going to be wanting to write, write uh, you know, uh, an alternate history. So let's talk about uh, your latest book, If JFK Lived. You imagine what JFK's presidency would be like. The country, um, what would it look like if, if there had been a second term, if he had won a second term? Well, if, again, no one knows. When you do alternate or counterfactual history, the, what I think you have to do, because I've done a bunch of them, is you have to get as many facts, real life facts, and then play with them. In my view, and I need to mention the fact that random chance here plays a huge role. If it had stayed raining in Dallas on November 22nd and the bubble top had stayed up, John Kennedy might well have survived that assassination attempt. It was his bad luck that the sun came out. But if you look at the analysis that historians have brought, the, the consensus is that he probably would have desperately looked for a way to get out of Vietnam once he got reelected. He knew about the political price. He didn't trust the military. He didn't trust the, the assertions that they could win. He knew about nationalism. And if you posit, if you accept that premise, that Kennedy would have found some politically viable way to get out of Vietnam, then the whole rest of the 1960s is different. I think, I think what, what emerges is the counterculture becomes much less dark and the, the, the outright rejection of America by some of the, of the protesters, I think, wouldn't have happened. That's, that's, call it an informed guess. And what I love about alternate history, it, it, it teaches you not only to be careful about making assertions, because random chance can always trip you up, but you have to look at the character and temperament of leaders and figure out how that character and temperament would have drastically changed history if different people had held those posts at different times. So that's, that's my best, but it is, I don't claim that this is, you know, that I saw into the, into the alternate future and assert this as a fact. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite that arrogant. The book I is called, it. well, the book is called If Kennedy Lived, the first and second terms of President John F. Kennedy and alternate history. Jeff Greenfield, many thanks. Thanks for being, I'm, I'm once again part of the best political team on television. <laughs>